What's happening, boys? Danger Steady back with another Battlefield Hardline video. And today, we're going to be playing a little bit of Blood Money on the block. But the real point in this video is, we're going to talk about the new update that just came out yesterday. So for those of you that didn't know, Battlefield Hardline released their robbery update yesterday. Uh, it's available to all premium members, and everybody else will be able to download this update on September 30th. It's about two weeks away. So, uh... <clears throat> You know, everything you really get with it, there's a lot of stuff that came out with this update. There's a lot of nerfs, there's a lot of new weapons, there's a lot of new maps, a lot of bug fixes. It's really good. So, uh, you know, main things here. Uh, Squad Heist came out, new game mode. Haven't played it yet. Um, looks pretty interesting. Four new maps, the Docks, Breakpoint, Museum, Precinct 7. Um, like I said earlier, only premium members can play those right now, but on September 30th, the rest of us will be able to play that. Thing that I think is really interesting, super feature is the legendary status. Um, for those of you who play Call of Duty, um, you know that you can prestige on Call of Duty. This is basically the same idea, basically the gist of it. Once you reach level 150 and you're a premium player, you will be able to uh, have the option of becoming legendary one. What does that entail? Uh, you lose all your guns, you lose all your attachments, all that stuff. And basically you start from scratch. Um, the only things that you keep are like the pre-ordered guns, stuff like that. Um, I guess it's just to renew the game for people that are 150. If you go into a lobby now, there's probably five, ten people that are level 150. Just a fresh start for people might make them uh, restart and have fun again. Uh, two new vehicles to go with the new maps, um, new vehicle camos, um, robbery vehicles were updated. Two new gadgets for the operator class. There's a gas grenade launcher, and now you can heal uh, the other people in your car, which is pretty cool. Uh, new weapons for the operator class, the F2000, the MDC, the RPK, and there's now a throwing knife, which is pretty cool. Uh, another resemblance to Call of Duty. Uh, new gun camos, butterfly gun camo, beehive gun camo, street gun camo, and money gun camo. Um, another new features is there's obviously new assignments and achievements for the new guns. And there is now a uh, challenge that has to do with Easter eggs. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I can find out. Um, available to everyone right now, uh, throwback carbine rifle for all classes. That is basically the M1 carbine, the uh, like World War II era gun. Really good. You can use it on all classes. Uh, pretty fun. There's a the only downside for it really is the fact that there's not really many attachments for it. It's kind of like the Thompson. I mean, obviously, old school guns, you don't put a lot of attachments on. But... Uh, the way the sights are set up on it, it zooms it in a lot, and I don't know, I just I just don't really, I don't really like it, but, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. So, uh, other new weapons, um, there is the FN57 handgun, a new handgun that you can use on all kits. The Scorpion um, is a new submachine gun that you can use on the engineer kit, awesome gun. Uh, the Scorpion was in Black Ops 2, I believe, if you played Black Ops 2. Um, the Saiga 12 shotgun is uh, available on the Enforcer side. Not very good. I've used it. It's like the rate of fire is really slow, and um, it doesn't have enough damage that it makes it any better than, like, it's not worthwhile to use. So I wouldn't really recommend that. Um, what else did we come out with? The MP7 is available on all kits. So when I play Blood Money, I like to use the Enforcer so I can use the Tactical Toolkit, get money really fast, but you also have to choose a weapon, obviously, and you don't want to be running around in slow, like compact areas with a uh, battle rifle. And sometimes shotguns just don't do it for me. It depends on the map, how the game's going. So that is my new setup now. I have some gameplay of that coming out later this week. It is the MP7 with the Enforcer kit. Uh, it's awesome. The MP7 is a great gun that they added. And my new favorite sniper is the Barrett M82. It is not the 50 caliber version, um, but it is the semi-automatic version. Um, it was a little frustrating at first because when you see the damage scale, um, like when you pull the gun up, it's almost full, the full way up. So you're like, oh, you're gonna need a lot of one-hit kills with this. It does like 95 damage at like close distances. So you're gonna get a lot of the 95 assist counts as kills, but you know that's that's all all and good. But if it gets you killed, then it's not really worthwhile. But its distance capability is so good. Um, it's just really good for shooting distance. Uh, there's not very much drop on it too. I know a lot of complaints with the 300 knockout is like the bullet drop and the bullet speed is 
really, really slow. Um, and I can attest to that. I just got it, and that is really frustrating. And even some of the other sniper rifles, the bullet speed is really slow, but the Barrett is uh, it's definitely fast, and there's, uh, there's hardly any bullet drop on it, which is awesome. Um, things that they fucked up, the kit choices are just so fucked right now it's not even funny um you know hopefully they they find this out right away um before i always complained about how your outfit never stayed like sometimes you'd have your elite outfit and then sometimes it'd forget to like do that for you like dumb shit like that but now in between games you are forced now to reapply all the attachments to your guns camos attachments even like game to game, you lose them, and then within the game, you lose them too. So that is really frustrating because the first couple times, you're gonna spawn into the game and you're not gonna realize it, but you have no attachments or anything on your on your gun, which is super super frustrating. So they took something that was bad about the game and they ended up fucking it up more because people don't really care about their outfit as much. Like you can fix that later; it's not a big deal. But going through all the attachments and going through all the camos to put your camo on is just really annoying. And it's just really frustrating whenever you spawn into a game and you get killed because, you know, you don't have your red dot sight or you don't have the right scope on your sniper rifle or something like that. So that is super frustrating. And I really hope that, you know, they fix that as soon as possible. But other than that, I really have no, no real complaints, um, you know, for this update. Another thing that you guys might want to know is that if you did not pre-order the game and you weren't able to use guns like the ACR, the CAR 556, you will now be able to use those guns. They made those public to everybody. Um, so anybody that's getting bored wants a new gun to use, uh, new players starting out, need some good SR rifles for free, you can now uh, you can now use those weapons. Um, so there's that. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, not many people use those anymore because they kind of ran their course um, at the beginning of the game. Everybody really used them a lot then, but um, you know, maybe maybe you'll see that making a comeback. <clears throat> uh, one thing I'm really surprised that they did not fix um, is the driving. Um, the driving has been an issue on this game since you know uh, the first day that it came out. It was even horrible in the beta. And they never, never got around to fixing that, which I think is interesting considering there's a game mode on here. Um, anybody that's played Hotwire knows it's involved. Like the whole point of the game is to drive, and they just, just don't care about fixing the driving, which is pretty stupid to me. Um, I know for me that's one of the biggest complaints: driving and jumping. Like I cleared that wall pretty good there, but like there's a lot of times where, like your player just refuses to jump over stuff, or your player like does it like three times and it's really frustrating because a lot of time it's going to get you killed um so i'm i'm really uh like kind of disappointed that they didn't fix any of that stuff but all in all this update couldn't have come at a better time um you know i was playing a few games with my friends the other day and they we were all kind of bullshitting about how it was kind of just getting dry again uh the game was getting a little bit dry um but this is definitely definitely come out at the right time um, another thing I want to talk to you guys about is adding me uh, and getting to come out and join my squad and, you know, play a couple games. Um, Red Cheese, if you're out there watching, um, you've been playing a lot of games with me, you and your buddy, uh, Dehumidifier. <laughs> I know I'm pronouncing your name wrong, but uh, guys, that's always really cool um, for me to know that somebody's watching my videos, but also that I can interact with, interact with you guys. Um, so if you want to do that, add me on Battlelog. Uh, it's my gamer tag. Also add me on PlayStation at Dangerous Denny um, with the hyphen. Um, but all in all, guys, uh, I'm really enjoying the game again. Um, you know, we're having a good game right here with the MPX. Um, I finally got the service star for the mechanic during this game, which is pretty cool because I was thinking about going for the FMG. But if the, if they just nerfed it, um, you know, I don't know how worth it it's going to be for me to do that considering I just. Uh, you know, drug out the process of getting the knockout. And uh, there's all these new guns out now that it, I don't know if it's really worth it. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely interested in playing the game again, but I really like playing with you guys. So if you want to hit me up, find me on, um, you know, find me on PlayStation, find me on Battlelog. I'm usually on one of the two. Um, 
I probably play Battlefield, I don't know, a couple hours a day, and, you know, if I'm just bullshitting on my computer or something, I might be on Battle Logs, so definitely add me on there. But other than that, guys, really just comment down below and let me know what guns you want to see me use. Um, I'm definitely going to have some MP7 gameplay. Uh, i got to get the FAL gameplay out because the FAL is just an incredible gun. I have a lot of um, 300 knockout videos that I need to edit and put on this channel. Um, but other than that, just let me know. Um, I'm thinking about doing individual weapon reviews. Um, I kind of gave you guys a little bit of an overlay of what I thought of each one. But, um, you know, if you want to see them in action, uh, I can definitely... Uh, definitely make a video about each one because there's a few that I really like but there's just a couple like them one it's just it's real hit or miss for me I don't know what map to use it on because it's not very good at distance but with it being semi-automatic and not having a lot of stopping power it's not too good on small maps either so I'm gonna have to find you know just the right the right map to use it on um but hopefully I find that soon because it, it's just a fun gun to use, uh, the World War II guns. It brings you back to the days where most of the first-person shooters were all World War II, um, World War II uh, themed games. Um, but yeah, um, I'm definitely playing a lot of Blood Money 2 recently. Um, I know a lot of my videos are Conquest, and I was looking back the other day, and, and they all seem to be on the same map, but... Um, you know, anybody that's half decent at this game knows that there's some maps that you do a lot better on than other ones just because you know those spots that you can go to and you can predict the movement of the enemy team. Um, block, since they just put it in the Conquest Large rotation, which I think is really stupid, and I forgot to talk about this when I was complaining earlier, but having Block and Grow House on Conquest Large rotation is absolutely retarded. Um, there's no need for 64 people to be running around on block. Anybody that plays Conquest Large knows that, you know, nine times out of ten by the end of the game, some team's getting spawn trapped. And, yeah, it's all fun and good if you're the team doing the trapping. But if you're on the other team, like, it sucks, especially because a lot of people end up leaving. So whenever you make a squad and, you know, you try and join a game with your friends, you end up getting into a game where you're getting spawn trapped on block as you, like, join your first game of the day. And that's not how you want to start. Um, so I definitely have a complaint about that, but I guess this this is where the custom servers really come in. Uh, you know, if you don't want to play block, you can find a, a server that's only playing other maps or whatever. So um, <clears throat> I mean, I guess I guess there is a, a fix for that. But you know, whenever you make a squad in the menus, it's like you, obviously you can't do the server search. Uh, you can't do that option. It just puts you into a random game. But September 30th, the update will be out for Battlefield Hardline. And I'm definitely going to uh, invest in that. Um, it, let me know down below in the comment section if you guys are going to do that too. Um, FIFA 16 comes out in about a week, I think. Early Access came out today. Um, but regular release for PlayStation will be in a couple, a couple days. So let me know if you guys want to see me play that. I, I'm definitely going to get it. Whether or not you want to see that content on here, I'll, I'll try and keep the Battlefield content coming. Um, and we're about two months away from Star Wars Battlefront, which I'm really excited about. Um, I'm really looking forward to uh, <clears throat> you know playing that game. That was one of my favorite games growing up as a child. Um, playing on PS2, uh, Battlefront, and Battlefront 2. So, um, anyhow, boys, end of the game here. We end up going 51 and 17 not the greatest but i think I, it was just real entertaining gameplay to watch while listening to the uh contents of the new update that was just released but before i go boys i just want to let you know that you should smash that like button and definitely hit the subscribe button if you're a new viewer and i'll catch you in the next video yeah.